it's 7 a.m. and I have this meeting for 7 pets. My Louis requested that I apply for this year's model event packaging. And I have a meeting with my models this morning, so I'll just rush up. Please save me that glorified name for adultery. Meeting with models indeed. Do you ever wake up with any good thoughts in mind? Huh? Listen, I don't want to start my day this way, okay? Please. Okay. We have uh, Dara. Yeah. Clara. Yeah. Uju. Yeah. And Meg. Yeah. All right. So, um, there are you sign your part and pass it around. You are my four top models, and this is a big one. This is the big job. So I wish you all good luck next week. Okay? Thank you, Thank you very much. Go get a contract. Hmm? Main business with you. Thank you. All right, you take care, people. All right, all right I'll see you. Right, take care. Okay, take care. How do you mean hate? Are you one of my top models? Uh, I don't know why I should hate you. Spare me this innocent answer. You know what I'm talking about. Meg, with due respect, I am a married man and... Save that. I know what next. What is wrong with you, colleagues? Oh, God. Your friends were tied to help me. And here you are. Meg, what I'm doing with you here is business, biz work. Just business, biz work, capital, money making. That's what we do here. Okay? I hope I'm not distracting anything. No, 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 you're not interrupting anything, man. Please come in. Come. Go this way. Meg, nice doing business with you. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Hold it. Dude. Yep. I hope you're not still playing married boy to this chick. <sighs> it's been a long meeting. I guess we should go for lunch now. Okay. I guess I did lunch. Come on, let's go. You just saved me. That was what you did, man. So I guess just that. I'm not meant to be sitting down. You? No, no, no. Come on, let's go for lunch, man. To marry young man. See, see how beautiful you look. Eh? Is it not better for me to remain single than than be on, uh, than for me to be unhappy in a marriage? Why are you sounding like this? I hardly ever see the man in the house. He comes back late from work and immediately he rushes out very early in the morning. Ah. Mm. Eh? Me. I know say. I never marry. Hmm? But if I get married. And my husband tries that rubbish with me, 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 Susie. Hey, I go sham Pepe, even with that girl he's messing with. Susie, how would you know now? How would you know the girl? Very easy. All we need to do is to plant my cousin Kelly as the secretary, and it will work. Oh, well, Susie, he has a secretary now. How would I do that? Why are you there for my hand? Eh? You be like say you the colo. Why you the fall my hand? Not be woman you be. Use woman power. Okay, sorry. Hmm? 
the house. Make your husband now one girl. Mm -hmm. God forbid. Ah. Oh, God go forbid. Are you there? Huh. Okay, so okay, let's start talking about it. Let's plan it now, now. Plan? Let's start it. Just say it, and I will execute it, and it will start. Okay, no problem. Saint Anita. Plan till eternity until you turn to babysitter. Don't say that in a kiss. See you. Please. Day. You want marry, ba? <laughs> have to do something fast. Uh -uh, not do something fast. Sit down. Sit down. They talk. So, where are you going? Have you forgotten we have an arrangement at CIS Plaza? We're supposed to be there for six. And from there, I head home to my wife. What about the chicks I arranged for you? What do you mean, arranged for me? Was it by my consent? Never told you I needed a girl. So? Look, 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 please. Do not waste my money. I've actually booked a hotel for us. The rooms have been booked already. Now, let me tell you how your money will not be wasted, okay? You get a room for your extra baggage and then you get another room for you and your girl. So when you're done with your extra baggage, you can move over to your girl. That way your money will not be wasted and you have rum. I'll be home to my wife, man. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you the only married man on earth? What about me? Come on, man. Drink up. Let's go. I have an appointment to catch up, man. Take it to my time. Come on. Susie asked me for a favor. And it's you that's going to grant it. And what is it she asked for? Well, her younger sister is looking for a job. So I promised her that you'd be the one to employ her as your secretary. Baby, but you know I have a secretary. Oh, so you want to make me less important as you've always done? Don't be ridiculous. How could you? I mean, what do you need to tell that little girl? What? I knew it. I knew it. So you can no longer talk to your secretary. Okay, I forgot. She's been serving you offshore and onshore, right? Thank God. You're just pathetic. Sorry if you don't mind, you want to move to the other side. I, I need to sleep now. Listen, if you dare ridicule me before my friend, I will so deal with you and that secretary of yours. Trust me. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. Well, my secretary must be able to. Okay, thank you. I don't know, I'm just saying it. Um... Oh. She was even smart enough not to write her name. I don't know about this, I'm, I'm just saying it, honestly. 
someone just brought it to my office now. I've not really given it any particular attention. Baby, come, baby, come. Honey, wait. Oh. Oh. Ah. Touching what happened today in the office. If you get angry, you're right. If you do your thoughts, you're very in place, you know. You're very right to do whatever. But the truth is that I never read that card. The content. I don't know who sent it. I've never seen it. And I don't know, it just happened. Well, if that will make you Model we're expecting? No, sir. My name is Kelly. Hmm. I'm Aunt Susie's sister, and uh, your wife sent me to you. Oh, I remember. Um, do you have prior or secretarial experience? Actually, sir, I'm a fresh graduate, but I have diploma in computer. Which means you're not a trained secretary. But, sir. Save it. If I'm doing this, I'm doing it for my wife, not for you, okay? And that means you have to work under my secretary till I'm sure you are able to handle things. Thank you so much, sir. No, it's okay. Like I said, I am doing this for my wife, okay? Sir. okay? So you work with my secretary and she'll put you through the proceedings, okay? Okay, sir. Berlin first. You can leave now. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Oh yes, uh, put her through. Uh, she's gonna be working with you. Uh, just, just let us know. Your, your government off. Eh? You're strong, go. Hey! Now that he, there's so much issues, problems surrounding him, uh -huh. maybe they'll have to change their venue. Leave that one. See, I have lectured my cousin on her mission. Hmm? She'll be taking most of the calls. As in, soon, very, very soon. Calls, names, message will be supplied. Trust me. Ah, ah, you're just the best girl for this job. <laughs> it's not by my making, you know. After they will say women are troublesome. Men won't marry and remain married. They will be jumping from one bed to the other, and they pure, pure come. Not with Lizio. Any movement I know. Even Bessar even had the guts, the nerve to call me a nagging wife. Are you serious? Because hey. I want him to say the truth. I'm a nagging wife. Hey. Instead of him to say the right thing and do the right thing, he is opening his mouth wild. Let's forget that fool. Anyway, have you? Seen the babe, latest baby list. Oh okay. girl. Beautiful. That list is pretty expensive. Ah, but it's worth it too. Ah, it's too beautiful. Are you talking about the list? 
trust me now, now I gotta chat. <laughs> you just that. head up to the shop and buy it. Ah. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, what's up, what's up, Mike? Okay. Hmm. You look proud today, what's up? I'm alright. What's good? What's good? You did not turn up for the meeting, I had to cover for you. That's great, man. So sweet. That's why you're my buddy, man. <laughs> Talking about buddies, we're gonna be hitting town tonight. No. Uh, I must get home early today. And you have to call Meg and tell her yourself. But you fixed the appointment without telling me. Yeah? I fixed the appointment just to save your ass! Whatever. You know. So well then. So well. Get out of my office, man. Hello, Mike. Mike. Yeah. Uh, what brought you here? Who, who, who are you here to see? Collins, your friend. Is he a man or is he cloned? Wait, I hope you're not talking about my friend like that. Man. By the way, what do you mean by. Is he cloned? Bless me. I'm genuinely in love with this guy. Yet he hardly noticed. Man, let me explain something to you. You see, some men are principal and honest to their wife. Some other men are not. Really? Principled. Honesty, you said. Now you listen up, man. I am not doing that McLewis job unless this guy shows up in my house and spend the night with me. Meg, 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 please listen here. Yeah? Meg, come. Uh, Don't let some ordinary feelings get into your business sense. It's really my business sense. Now you know it that many modern home in this country would die to have me sign their label. You get that into Okay, Meg, come. come let's, let's talk about this. There is nothing to talk no, about. Please, come back. Let's talk about this. I hope Collins can just do the damn thing. Just sleep with the girl for goodness sake. Oh, honey, you're not sleeping already. name is for fools who do not know when they are being deceived. Not again. What have I done this time? What, what, what have I done again? Why are you so mean? Eh? Why are you so mean? Look at the time a married man is coming back home from work. Okay, have you gone to see her? See who for heaven's sake? Will I ever get an opportunity to explain myself? Will I? Opportunity for you to keep reciting your lies over and over again. Abby! Anyways, I missed an important appointment due to other engagements, so I decided to make up for it this night. That was what happened. Just hear yourself. Hear yourself! Meeting by 12.30 a.m. in the midnight. Your life is as hopeless as your job. Baby, have you ever imagined why I married you instead of someone else? It's because I love you. Mm. Or do you want me to quit my job? Yes! Quit it! Quit! Quit it! If that will make you a better husband, quit your job! Ah! Let me have peace! Quit it! You met me doing this job. And you loved me. So... You know the thing? Honestly speaking, my mistake is marrying you. I regret it. What did you just say? You heard me. You heard me. I will make sure you regret this.
distance you said this night. Show will! Those girls every day, morning and night. Huh? My son, what is the problem? Papa Anita said it was a mistake marrying me. Anita, did you say such a thing to your husband? Papa, ask him what he did before I, before I made that statement. Huh? Okay. Okay, tell me what happened. Why you said such a thing? Papa, ever since I got married to your son, I hardly ever see him. He goes out early and comes back very late. He keeps jumping from one woman to the other. I hardly see him. Even during the weekends, at least, I don't see him. That was why I made that statement that I, I, it was a mis- Shut up, Anita! Ah! Is it because of this irrelevant matter that you place cause on your marriage? Ha! Ah. Anita, you don't understand. Papa, are you taking sides with him? Me? Yes. Taking side? Or you do not want your husband to work? You see, this is how you continue nagging until one day you send yourself away from your husband's house. You're taking sides with him. I'm not. You're taking sides with him. I'm not. I'm not taking sides with him. I'm telling you a real fact. Metaria. How can you take such type of steps in your house? Even if you want to <laughs> make it a top secret to your wife, that will pay you a better dividend. Papa, I am a professional. I never did any such. I mean, and every time I go out, I go to work. I just work, work. I don't have time for all that. Okay, I know. I know. Uh, when I was like you, I can never agree with such statements on my part. So, whatever you are saying now, I know what actually happened. But take time if you want peace in your house. Um, why don't you just go upstairs and have dinner? Oh, I you have a Like, you know, I'm hungry. I know you're killing me, but... <laughs> <laughs> I married you because I love you. God knows I never thought of cheating on you every day. I mean, I work hard for us, for our future, our children, you know. Huh. Speaking of children, do you know you're going to be a lousy father? Huh? I know. Very lousy one. You can't even father a goat not to talk about a human being. You're right. But please, why don't you make a real man out of me? Useless man. Give me that. Oh, God. Oh, baby, you are also right. But don't you think I'll be more useless if you nag? Huh? What did you just say? I'm, I'm me sorry. nag! I'm sorry, it was a slip of phone. I'm sorry. You had better be. It better be.
I was expecting you in my house. Why are they suddenly meeting here already? Please sit down, Meg. We have to talk. Okay. First, what do I have for you? I'm more interested in this your puta panel. Meg. First, I want to start by saying you are a beautiful lady. And any man would die to have you as his wife. You're truly adorable. Indeed, you are adorable. Sometimes I get to imagine who the lucky man would be. See, all in all, I'm not an exemption to your numerous admirers. But the thing is, I'm different. Sometimes I wish I, I wasn't married. I wouldn't hesitate to make you my wife. You know, that's if you approve. But unfortunately, I was before I met you, Meg. I was married. I took an oath not to ever cheat on my wife. And I'm sure you'd be happy or proud to have a husband like me. What do you think? Have you ever been in love? Please, don't go there. Please. I'm in love with you, Collins. I can't possibly be your friend. Love. My heart is what I'm talking about here. I thought you were reasonable. Reasonable. The plan stands. <laughs> One night with me and we are in business. <laughs> you heard me. I knew of business before I took the oath to be faithful to my wife. And if you would not be reasonable, please, that's the door. You may leave if you want. You're kidding me, Auntie. I don't kid. I'm for real. Hmm? You do need me. You know it that you do need me. Nah. I don't need you. Listen, McLewis will never sign you without me. Well, I don't need McLewis to be in business, you know. Mike, I'm sorry for bad you, but I need to see you now. Mike, so I can you for my reception, please, eh? What brought you here today? Your friend refused to keep the promise. Rather, he rejected both me and Mark Lewis. Can you believe that? How can you do that? Are you serious? That's it, that's it. You know, but my head is really filled up right now. I need to go home and just think. I need to go home. So now I'll see you. I'll speak to you later. Right. Kelly. Kelly, wait. And some late for a walk. Kelly. You have been walking for the past two weeks now. Yet you have not given me any useful information. What is going on? Auntie, do you want me to lie against the man I have not seen anybody with? Let me just tell you, that man is clean. Oh, shut up! Who asked for your opinion? And what is this you are wearing like a showcase girl? And I'm only looking smart. And I there is see. nothing wrong with that. Besides, I'm late for work. I'll see you later, okay? I 
I think you're up to something. you dress this way to the office? Sir, so this is just a modeling outfit and I don't think it's wrong. Well, I never employed you here as a model. The next time you dress like this, I'll send you out. Okay, sir. I made myself clear? Yes, sir. I'll see Papa. Sorry, sir. You may leave for the day. Close. Don't want to see you again. What was that for? Oh my God, Stephanie. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ooh, I'm just a while. such a big girl now. <laughs> mm. So how's your mom? It's fine. Okay. You hardly visit us. Oh, guilty as accused. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I was thinking of making her time to visit you people, okay? Okay, anyway, how's Auntie Anita? She's good. She, she misses everybody. <laughs> hmm? Okay. I was on my way home. Let me drop you off. Uh, no, no, I want to see a friend down the street. Oh, that's good. So you never really came to see your uncle? <laughs> yes. No, I just came and checked in. And we'll be careful with those boys, okay? Okay. Alright. Take this to the car for me. Okay. I'll make you a chance for a fair. Alright. on your shirt. What's the There, a lady's lipstick. Oh. What's that? Uh, Stephanie, my younger cousin, she came She came to the office today. She was all over me. I'm sure she... Collins! She, she did this. Don't you, don't you sound stupid when you hear yourself lie sometimes? Don't you? Oh, could be Stephanie. Listen, baby, I came home to spend some time with you, not to quarrel. No! You came home to mock me! So just shut up! And you, you come into adult during the day and then you come home acting like a good husband? Anita, you're driving me crazy! It, it is mothers that will visit you if you do not go back to where you're coming from. Do you hear me? Anita, open this, open, open this gate. Open it. Fly over, let me hear. Let me see you. Fly over, let me see you. I don't trust me. Anita! I wish you would open my heart to see how I feel just for you. I, every night I cry, but tears are not enough. To express my pain, to express my feelings. And tell me where you wanna take my love and throw it all away. And tell me why you're turning my heart apart and you cannot. Don't you know how much I love you? Come give me the love that I need and desire. Not again, oh, don't you know I'm a human like you? My heart is beating just for you. 
just for you. My heart is bleeding just for you. Just for you. My heart is bleeding just for you. Just for you. My heart is bleeding just for you. Oh, how can I make you to understand? Mike. Mike, where, where are you? You're home? Well, I'm, I'm surprised though. Yeah, I'm coming over now. Yeah, I want to see you now. You turn in my heart, but I knew came there. Don't you know how much I love you? Come give me the love that I need and desire. Oh, don't you know I'm a human like you? My heart is bleeding. Just He's my own of way. No, 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 no. Don't be cutting me. Maybe you're cheating me. Kick me. Which guy cheating? Okay, fine. One, you cheat, definitely cheat. I play play game. Six five. Six three, not six five. Okay. Baby, six three now. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, come in. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Nicole. <laughs> now, boy, how you doing? I'm good. Colin, good evening. Good evening. Why well, enjoying me? I'm playing with you. Give me. I beg, I beg. Give her what you Give her your brand. Give me five things. No, no, no. no. Um, Colin, come and see you. Uh, Mike. Okay. I'd rather dress up, so we'll just do it outside. Don't be cheat. You know. Nothing has been cheat. Cheating is not good, though. <laughs> Everything you cheat. For real? Yes. I don't think you cheat some bad though. Hey man. Ah, so, so soon. soon. So soon. A woman. Madam, I will not come out. Sorry to cut your phone short. Okay? No, 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 no problem. He's mine for life. Well, yeah, look at you. <laughs> you guys should catch fun, okay? All right, no problem, man. Bye bye. Mo, you are a lucky man. And why did you say such? Carry different girls. Sleep out. Sometimes you go home late and without remorse. Today you barely went home on time to spend time with your wife. And I came in. She wasn't complaining. <laughs> she was just okay. My wife believe is my kind of job. Besides, I married a good woman. I have a good woman as my wife, so what else do I want? So, why should I complain? I wish I could say that of my wife. <laughs> why do you say that? I'm in soup, man. My wife suspects my every move. She believes all I do is run around town with girls. She nags in the morning, nags in the afternoon, nag at night, nag, nag, just nag, nag every, every minute, just nag. She's killing me with nagging. And how long has this been going on? Since we had our boy. And that's about six years, if I'm not mistaken. I lost count on that, though. You see, this evening, I postponed my meeting with the models so I could go home and spend quality time with my family. But my wife said no. She sent me out. Why? She saw a lipstick stain on me. And the stuff was inflicted on me by my little cousin, Stephanie. I mean, it wasn't just deliberate. She was all over me. I tried to explain. She wouldn't just listen. She, 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 she was just driving me crazy and to my ends, you know? Wait, man. Follow, follow. Hold it, hold it there. <laughs> oh, God. It's not funny, but do you know how many times my wife cleans lipstick from my shirt, my t-shirt, my neck, my face? She believes it's my kind of job. I don't know where I'm from with your wife. <laughs> Mine sent me out of the house, believing I want to see a girl. Uh, 
I know one of those uncles that is like, you know, when women do like, women deserve men like me. <laughs> women deserve men like me. <laughs> if you say I'm guilty, I'm guilty. If you think I'm innocent, I'm guilty. So, either way you like, talk about it, I know what I mean, I am guilty. <laughs> Besides, put that aside. Meg said you gave up McLuhan's job because you refused to sleep in there. What the hell is wrong hey, hey, with hey, you? Hey, buddy. What kind of... I'm not out here to talk about Meg. Okay? I got loads on my mind. You know what? Let me just get some models to chair off some. I just don't know what way you're going. No, 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 no. That's your business. Excuse me? <laughs> that is your business. I... Kelly, come to my office right now. Now. So you called me. What's the meaning of this? Did my wife plant you here to prove her point? Her point? I don't understand, sir. How could you call me sweetheart? Am I your sweetheart? Just Don't you have respect for me again? No, sir. I was only trying to be polite, that's all. If you ever try this again, if you ever, I'm going to throw you out of this office. I'm really very sorry, sir. Get out! I was just trying to... Get out! Nonsense! What is this? He works like a machine and doesn't have time for pleasures. You liar. I'm sure the purpose of putting you there to monitor him is defeated. He gives you money to shut up, right? Okay. Unless you people want me to feed you with lies. Is that what you want? And Susie. Yes. Do you remember that day I, I dressed sexy to work? Yes. Good. I was only trying to test him since I couldn't find out anything. So, what was the outcome? You won't believe it. He screamed and warned me never to try it again, unless I'll be sacked. 
Ah, well, you went too far, but then I still don't believe you. Relax. The next day, I bought a card and I wrote, I'm sorry, sweetheart, with a kiss on it. He nearly brought down the office and threw me out. But that was too far. What if he had fallen for you? At least I would have gotten one reason to justify my stay there. Okay, what about the other secretary? That one? Yes. Mm -hmm. She hardly looks at his face. In fact, she walks more than I can imagine. True. Susie, I'm out of it. This your niece or cousin or whatever is talking around nonsense. And it's her take it easy. What? I'm not answering. How can a man come back from home every day with lipstick stain on his shirt? Eh? And it's... Okay. And it's her easy okay. now. Take it easy. Please, sort this thing out for me. After everything Come you know back now. Have you seen my hey. friend? Shh. You better know what you are doing or else you'll be thrown to the street. I'm saying this. Hey, thing. can I talk? Jobless. Be warned. Whatever. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, sir. You live here? Yes, sir. But, sir, what are you doing here by this time? I came around this area. You ought, you ought to be in the office by now. Yes, sir. But, sir, there has been a transportation problem today. Even the tanker drivers on strike. Yeah, I, I heard about it. It's quite embarrassing, though. Um, you're going to the office, right? Uh, please do come. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.
Call it. What is this I heard? No. I want to go to your house and talk sense into this woman. What an embarrassment. You are a man. Take it easy. Calm down. Okay? Not all marriages are perfect. Seriously, calm down. Take it easy. <gasps> Master Chika, hmm? the purpose of my coming to you this night is to ascertain if you are aware that our children are no longer living together. I mean, Anita and Collins. As I'm talking to you right now, my daughter hey. is right in my house. That cannot be true. You see? But it is true. See, some few weeks back, I was in their house to settle this matter, and I did settle the matter. How come this type of report oh, again? Hold it. Achike the peacemaker. Now listen. Umuli if I na go on water, si I go nandi mulia, uforo go di no ofu, uforo go man di no ofu. There are certain information you give to a child and ask him or her not to relay to his or her parents. Sometimes it works like that, okay? But sometimes it doesn't work like that. My daughter told me everything you said when you visited them. How you were advising your son to be moving out of their house? Hey, Mbano. Hey, got it. Hey. Over every little quarrel. And then to be coming in with his secretary. All this to ridicule my daughter. Hey. Ashika, you know me? My All Lord. this to ridicule my daughter. My own daughter. The only daughter of Udense, Udense Maduka. How dare you, Ashika? It's all right, my mm. in-law, my own law. Just uh, look at it. You know we've been in-law for some time now. And I give you respect. I expect you reciprocate. Understand? I am not a coward. And I am not the type of a man that will go to take advice from, from, from my son. No, I won't do that, you know. You know about that. Mm. So whatever is the problem now, it shall have to be settled. Watch it. I'll send for my son. As he comes back, we shall, by God's will, manage to find a way to make peace the way it should be. Eh? It's all right. Better do. Better do that before, it's before all things right. run out of hand. It's all right. It's all right. You get everything, will will okay. everything will be okay. Don't mind. Yeah? My in law. You so annoyed. It's nice. I have to be. I have to be. Oh. Obulukia. You sure. Sir. Yeah. You have an urgent message. From who? Your father called when you were in a meeting. He said he does not wish to call again. That it's important you come to know him friendly. My dad? Yes. Did he give you any reasons? No, sir. <sighs> okay, go back to your office. Yeah, I, I want you to come and run things for me. I want to sit in my office for two days. Kind of deputize for me, yeah. My dad wants me to come home. I don't know, so I mean, they say it's so urgent. Well, maybe it should have to be, or maybe about that. It should be. It should be about it. Oh, you're coming home in the evening? Okay, fine. Oh well then. I'll expect you. 
So, what do you have to say? Papa is only saying this thing to suit himself. Every time there's always a cost for quarrel. Every time. Now listen. I am your father. And I will not de deceive you. You see, a nagging woman ends up driving her husband out of his own house. Your husband went out of the house in search of peace. Problems are not solved by nagging. Dialogue works better. Is that clear? Yes, Papa. So try as much as you can to understand your husband and his job. And you, my son. Mazude. You see, try as much as you can as well to be a man and do what is right in your own house. You see, women can be annoying at times, but you don't have to run away from your house because of that. All you need to do is to develop a spirit of tolerance and patience. Then things will flow. <clears throat> Is that clear? Thank you, man. Aneta, I don't want to get this nagging report again. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Papa. That's all right. Um, I thank you, our fathers, for your intervention. I'm only human. And I stand to be corrected. So I'll just keep trying. Just keep trying. We hope for the best. Thank you, Nayude, for your time. You see, you both are mine. And uh, we have done what we are supposed to do. And we're happy both of you have settled. Okay? Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, yes, we are happy. So, when are you people going back? Um, first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, first thing tomorrow morning? That's good. Yeah. Okay, uh, may our Heavenly Father guide you safely back to your base. So, that is it. Sometimes, uh, after we're going to sunshine. Yes. <laughs> go in now and get yourself ready so that we can go now. Hmm? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome to the meeting. Um, you. Mr. Collins. Yeah. Your company signed in four models. But I'm seeing three. Yes, you were very right, sir. You know, actually she called in to say she might be... Oh. Yeah, one has been away and she's just on her way. She's slightly late. Yeah. The lady is here. That's a sweet figure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fuck mother. Yeah. Meg, you're welcome. You're highly welcome. Please sit down. You're welcome. Sit down. Yeah, it's a sweet image for the company. Don't you feel so? Perfect. She's just an image. Indeed. She's got the certification and courage of what we're talking about. Is that what you mean? Yes. Carry on. That's it. Mr. Collins, this shows we are now in business. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming, sir. Hey baby, Hi. honey, guess what? What? Guess what? Just, just guess. Um, okay, you just won a lottery. No, 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 no. I got, I got, I got, I got a show in Port Harcourt. Really? Yes, I'll be moving down next tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The Mark Louis stuff. This is the big one. 
You see, the press have been all over me. They've been like, hey, Collins, this. I want an appointment with you. I need to talk to you. you know, you're your husband, Rose, baby. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. Al. So what do I get from all this Collins come here for the show? Collins come and see me here in Port Harcourt. Collins, Collins this and that and that and that. So girl, guess... everything I do, I do for you, girl. Mm. Listen, I'll make sure I give you treats like never. Are you sure? Honestly, I got you, girl. Wow, are you sure? Hey! <laughs> Thanks, honey. I'm Thanks, honey. So and I'm excited! Yeah, <laughs> you don't know how I feel, you know? I feel like you. Oh, gosh, I feel like. Hello, viewers! Reporting live from Port Harcourt for the Anwar Mick Lewis Show. I'm so excited. I don't know about you, but I'm sure you are. So you better sit tight there and see what we got for you tonight. Now, this year's models are packaged by the best modeling agency in Africa. And here with me is Mr. one of the owners of McCollins Agency, Mr. Collins Hachike himself. Watch out for this. Hello, Mr. Collins. Good hi. to have you. Hi, girl. How are you doing? I'm good. Hello, viewers. Hello to you. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Well, Mr. Collins, you look hot tonight. Well, because I'm... Um, Hot night. Mm, did you hear that? Hotter than the hot test. Well, Mr. Collins, what do you have to say about this year's event? Well, I can assure you this year's event is uh, it's going to be the best. Wow. Okay, because uh, it's all packaged to bring about a new phase of modeling in Nigeria, in Africa. Okay. I tell you, the big dogs, the big players are in the house. Ooh. Mr. Collins is right here. Are you hearing We're that? keeping it real and fly tonight. And I'll show you tonight, you're hanging out with the best. Oh and I tell God. you tonight, you got it going on. Just get inside and know what's going on. He just heard that. You're hanging out with the best, so don't go away. You're keeping it flat tonight. Well, Mr. Collins, rumor has it that one of your models harassed you sexually. How true is this? Your fans out there are itching to hear. So. Oh, well, um, entertainment, this is show business. And like, um, ain't no rumor, ain't no entertainment, ain't no entertainment, ain't no rumor. So that's the way it is. Okay. The end justifies the means, you know. All right, you just heard that. The end justifies the means. The words of Niccolo Machiavelli, if you know who he is. Well, again, Mr. Collins, before I let you go, it is also said that your top model, Meg Morris, pulled out of the show earlier. What do you have to say? Oh, well, like I said, the end justifies the means. Oh. Tonight we have a hot package in there, and I want you to come in tonight and have your phone with us. So when you come in, you have the time, you have the opportunity to... to um, you know? Quantify and justify what we got for you tonight, okay? All right. Come on, baby, let's go have a show. All right, you just heard that. It's going to be flight tonight, so you don't go anywhere. That was the word of Mr. Collins that you came himself. And I hope you're having fun with me, so don't go away. Sit, sit tight, sit right there, and I'll keep you posted as the celebrities walk down the red carpet the wrong way. Don't go away. Hmm. Sis, you're looking so fresh. Look at you. Eh? <laughs> you can say that again. You don't even know the secret. Tell me, baby. I'm all ears. Well, I met this cute young guy who won't stop imagining us married. It's a lie, you. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for you, my God. Come. I hope you won't toss him around. Though. No, for real. Well, if that is what you call it, I don't care. I mean, Anita, you don't expect me to give in just like that. Come, Susie, do you think you're getting any younger? Are you saying that all these, these, all those little girls, when they start playing hard to get, you two, you will play hard to get? <laughs> Anita, you the Chris. Look me well. Now, me senior you. Eh? You the Chris. I beg leave matter. Eh? Hey, hey. I talk better, Seth. My cousin told me the rig you took to your husband's office. Hey. I dealt with that girl. Oh, I yes. dealt with her. Mm -hmm. So that next time when she sees this face, mm -hmm. she goes sit up. Aya. Behave herself. Mm -hmm. Trust me now. Ion Anita. A quench. Yes, sir. Hey! Yes, so. Go on, girl. That's me. Baby, you strong. Girl. That's so me. tell me. Where is your husband? He day up being no one. No, he's not to Port Harcourt. He has a show right Oh, wait. Port Harcourt! What's wrong with it? Why, why didn't you go with him? What's wrong with that? This is license for him to mess around with all the models. Are you serious? Hmm? So you've not heard? You've not heard what goes on during this day event? Hey. Anita, you don't work out. You don't die. If you must succeed as a model, you must sleep with all the men involved. 
And your cheating husband is not an exception. In their house, they look house, eat food. But he made lots of promises to me and I believed him. You believed what? Once a womanizer, always a womanizer. Susie. So waiting. Did they believe her? Oh yeah, call his line. See your phone, call his line. Are you serious? Why did they come off for you? No, they come off for chain and call his line. Mm -hmm. He is doing it. He is doing it and he won't pick the call until he's done. It's that network. Now only your phone network they disturb. I beg, give me something to make her drink. They yeah, they do like small children in the marry. Nonsense. Well, hello. Coming over now is the most, most celebrated top model, the big dog herself. Talking about Meg Morris. Hi, Meg. It's good to see you. Thank you. You look dashingly beautiful tonight. Well, this is my designer's bag and uh -huh. my diamonds and mm. uh, my flowing girl. You know, all the bling bling. <laughs> you look beautiful, man. Well, everyone feared you may not turn up this year again. Is it true you Ella pulled out of the show? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm here now. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. She's here right now. Well, Meg, you've been a threat to all other models. What do you have to say about this? Well, no one, I mean no one, can stop the sun from shining. And that will be all for now. Oh no, excuse me. I still have more. Oh my god. That was Meg Morris in her true colors. Never mind. I'll keep you posted on the remaining hot, hot gist. Hey, Meg. Hi. Hey, you like? You look wonderful tonight. Oh, thank you. You too. Mm -hmm. I guess there's two more very models left in the house. So many. What's going on, hey, buddy? Man. I've been looking for you, man. Yeah, I was going Hey, Meg, you came around. Please, where is my changing room? I need to change, please. Yes. Okay. What's wrong with you two? Show must go on. Yeah, here is Clara Moses, one of the most celebrated top models you can ever think of. Always hot, sexy, and cheerful. Hi, Clara, it's good to have you on the show. Yay, I'm actually very excited. <laughs> you look it, you should be anyway. Mm -hmm. You look like a goddess tonight, you're beautiful. Wow, thank you, and you too. I've never seen a reporter this hot. Did you just hear that? I'm hot, hotter than the hottest. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clara, this eyes of yours, mm -hmm. there's something about it. You know, they can actually kill a president. What do yeah. you say, baby? Wow, I just feel I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't be. No, Clara, this is your very first big outing. So what are we expecting? I know your fans out there are itching to hear. They are dying to hear. So just tell us, baby. Talk to us. Best. Okay. Because I'm packaged for the best ever. You just heard that? The best. It's Meg Morris. Are you girls? Are you good? Always. You girls cool? Hi, <gasps> you're cool. Hi, Clara. How are you? Jeez. What's up? What's, are you Jeez. okay? Good. My mom. Oh, my God. Oh my god, did you just see that? Well, Mr. Collins actually is only said to be abused by women, but I think he enjoys it. He's really doing his job very well with the models. Did you hear that? I told you that what your husband does is to enjoy from one model to the other. This is on screen, no? Imagine what happens behind closed doors. It's not possible. What is not possible? But you saw it! Susie, this is wrong. It's not possible now, for God's sake. I beg, stop making noise. Susie, but... This is not possible, Susie. Yeah. This is his job. And he made a lot of promises to you. This is one of the promises. Hey. Uh, oh, how could you do this to me? Jesus Christ, how could you do this on television? On television, Susie! Me. 
Wow. Ten mixed calls. Baby, open the door. Please let me get in my own house, please. You're not getting into any house. Go back to Portaco, where you're coming from. Go back to those prostitutes you call models. Go back to them. Baby, please, open the door, please. I promise you some packages. I got, I got surprises for you. Really? Yes, I was actually waiting for you to get to the car. It's in the car. Surprises for me? And then you were for looking with those idiots you call models? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you always nagging me? Why? What? It makes no sense. Nagging? Yes. Who's nagging? Who is nagging? Eh? Who's nagging? You call me nagging wife. What, what's your Who problem? Is what, what's just your problem? Who is nagging? I'm the one. What's your problem? What, what, what's your problem? Who is nagging? 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 Look, I'm just... Ah. It's all your fault. Do what you've done to me. Can you see what you've done to me? I swear to God I'll never hit you with my hands. Because if I do, I will kill you. God knows I will never. What kind of curse is this? Go back! Go back to those, those, those idiots! See you come back into this house. We can now. admitted in the hospital room. Really? Yes. It is your What is it she now? I told you to do something for me. You cannot do anything. Don't give me stupid, stupid news. Emmy, Emmy, call me. 
your wife came in and asked him for Claire's address. And apparently she didn't she didn't have it. And she went berserk. She went mad. I mean she destroyed every single thing in the office. Even when the nurse called to say that you were admitted, man, your wife slapped her. What? Like it's no longer ordinary. Man, this is not ordinary jealousy. This is pure hatred. Hey, Doc. Famous goes. Hi, Doc. I'm cool, Doc. How are you doing? Hey, welcome for you. How are you doing today? Hey, hi, uh, Doc. 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 I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Please, my gentleman, you have to excuse him. You really need some rest. Bobby. Listen, Doc. Yeah. Take this in here. Later. Ah, Susie, what do we do about this Clara issue? Please, I need your help. What do we do? I've told you. Just get her address and I will handle her. But that's what I went to the office to go and do. Eh? Only for your school for nothing since that stuff preaching to me. What? That rat? And what did you do to her? Oh, trust me, I hit the hell out of her. Hey, Thank Kelly! You. Come back here. What is the meaning of that? Didn't you see me and my friend? Can't you greet? Anyway, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? That you lost your manners? I don't blame you. I don't blame her. We took her away from Job Seekers Association and gave her a job. And now she's clean and she can talk to us anyhow she pleases. Anyway, you can't live under my roof and insult me and my friend. Okay, what have I done this time? Didn't I greet you? You did not! Or maybe we're deaf. Hmm. Go in there, pack your things and leave my house now. Oh yeah? So that will make you happy if I leave your house? Of course. Well. Thanks for the opportunity for packing into my own apartment. Mm -hmm. Which I've paid for since two weeks ago. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Did I get outside? Hey! hey! I am going to meet you. Yes! Go! Go! I support you! I support you! Look at her! Look at people like this! Can I try to help people this time? Yes! This is what you get! Insults! What am I going to do? Getting my husband's details. I can't no longer achieve it. Ooh. Oh God, I'm coming. Wow, honey, you're welcome. How's your day? I'm cool. How was the day? Oh, fine. Are you not the best wife in the whole wide world? Good. Honey, you're the best husband in the whole wide world. Oh, mm. You know what? I promise to be just that. What do you say we take a trip to London? That would be great. Let's go to that trip. Good day, doctor. You're free to leave now, as soon as your, the nurses are ready with your drugs. Thank you. You're satisfied fit to go home. Congratulations. Thank you very much, doctor. But you must make sure you liberalize your checkup. Okay? okay. All right. I appreciate, doctor. Right. God bless you. Take care. All right, doctor. Hey, 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 me call on my party. Oh boy. Get your lazy butt off that bed and face journalists outside. What? Journalists? <laughs> How do they know I'm here? Uh -uh. Okay, okay. No be one day famous. I beg, get up, go ask the questions. See what a bad wife is costing me. 
had an image. My image, Miko. What are you going to do? What is your next plan? Honestly, I'm confused and devastated. Not for me. I'm taking my wife on a holiday trip to London. Oh, she deserves it. She deserves every good treat. Gotta do what a man's gotta do. Gotta move on. Look, man, you made the right choice. Yeah. I need a new beginning, yeah. a new life. <sighs> Should be on my way now. Go and be the man you are. <coughs> yeah? Look, man. Thanks, Take care of your wife and be faithful to her. Look, you need the word that I did. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Free, life goes on. It's all good. Hello, viewers. I am Gladys Clark, and you are watching Celebrity Forum Africa. Today, we shall be discussing models and modeling agencies. With me in the studio is a unique and one of the most celebrated top models, Dara Dennis. I'm very sure that name rings a bell. Hi, Dara. It's good to have you on the show. Thank you, Gladys. Wow, you're gorgeously beautiful. <laughs> oh, please, you do know how to flatter. That's not flattery, please. Please, what do you do to maintain this physique of yours? Well, I don't really have to stress it, you know. I take a lot of water, really? I rest, and I get to pamper myself. You know? That's all. You just heard that from the horse's mouth. I think I'll start that. Right. Back to the business of the day. Miss Dara, yeah. you were one of the four top models in this year's McLewis show, and I'm sure you are aware of the sex scandal rocking that modeling agency even though your name was exempted in all the reports. But do you think that's the best way to run a modeling agency? Um, thank you for that word, exemption. Not my word. Well, that doesn't really make me a cent, you know? I mean, okay. this is all about Collins, Achike. Yeah. People outside don't really know him, except those working directly with him. Okay. You know, permit me to say this. If I am given the opportunity, I'll pay $200,000 just to marry that man. Why would you do that? Don't get me wrong. Not because he's handsome, but you know... But he's sure handsome. Okay, yeah. <laughs> His type of man is rare to find. Okay. Ah. He's an ambitious career man who will not compromise his marriage vow for anything. Really? He's one man I know that has, you know, stood the heat from women. Okay. You know, I mean pressure from models. Okay. 
At the time, it became like a competition. You know, who will succeed in breaking him? But should I tell you something? Please do. <laughs> no one did. You don't mean it. His wife is sure lucky. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, viewers, you just heard that from Miss Dara, a top model. Well, I'm very sure a lot of young girls out there are aspiring to be like a top model here. Well, do stay tuned, don't go away. And when we return, I will give you tips on how to be a top model. Thanks for watching. I shouldn't have listened to Susie. I've been a fool not to realize it before I went to the university. I have been chasing it first all along. My husband. My husband, colleagues. Will you ever forgive me?